Hello everybody, this is The Exception. Welcome back to another bee breeding episode. Today we're going to be breeding the Rusty Branch, which includes the Rusty, the Corroded, the Tarnished, and the Leaden Bees. Uh, this branch is very, very strange, and in fact we might not even get what we want today. And that's not a bee problem, that is the way it was set up. Um, pretty much, these first three bees all are bred from the same two. So we don't know if we're going to get what bee when. Uh, this last bee though is different. Uh, so let's put in that one first. The last bee of this branch is the leaden bee. And you need a resilient bee and an unweary bee for it. Uh, and then the other three bees, the rusty, corroded, and tarnished bees all use uh, these resilient and diligent bees. So we'll just throw those in there. Because we are using the Resilient as the uh, princess or queen for all of them, it does not require flowers, so keep that in mind. Um, and also, we are using the same setup as always. We have uh, nine necrotic frames here at the bottom, and a uh, mutator with nether stars in it to guarantee that uh, the mutation rate is 100%, which means we will always have uh, a new type of bee in there, uh, as long as they are compatible and they are. I just don't know if we're going to get the ones that we want. Um, so let's start here at the beginning and we have bauxite bees which I guess that's from another branch. Um, we have bauxite and tarnished. Okay so we got a tarnished. We have a corroded and we have a, another bauxite. That's strange. And we have a leaden bee. Uh, I might have another one so we can try that again we have that's we need we have a resilient we have uh, we need a hardy no we need a resilient I'm sorry I don't think I have any resilient here let's uh let's make one real quick this will be easy uh, so to make a resilient bee you need the tolerant and the hardy I'm sorry we're going off track here but I figured I should say it since it's going on in the episode. We're just going to let that go real quick and then we will be able to try again to get a Rusty uh, because that is the only one we did not get. Uh, we have Leaden, we have Corroded, and we have Tarnished. So let's get that out in a second. Uh, I did not realize Bauxite is not on the list so it must be from another branch entirely. Alright, so we have our resilient. Alright, let's throw that in. Diligent and resilient and hopefully we can get out the rusty bee. If not, we'll just have to do a summary and uh, you guys will just have to keep trying because uh, like I've said in the past, bee breeding isn't an exact science uh, especially in situations like this so you just have to keep trying. Uh, so it's gonna finish up real quick. And almost there. We are done. We have another bauxite and we have a tarnished. All right, well, we didn't get what we wanted, um, but we did get most of them. Uh, so I'm going to go through it once again a summary, a quick summary of everything that we did. Uh, we have the lead in. That is a Lustered. I don't know what that is from. That must be from another branch. I thought... Alright, well, I'll have to look into that. And I guess I'll get back to you on that next episode. But to finish this episode, uh, to give a quick summary, uh, the Rusty branch includes the Rusty, Corroded, Tarnished, and Leaden Bees. Strangely enough, we did not get a Rusty Bee. But if we did, it would be through a Resilient and a Diligent. Alright. The next one is the Corroded Bee, which is a Resilient and a Diligent. And the Tarnished Bee is also a Resilient and a Diligent. All right. The last bee, the Leaden Bee, is a Resilient and an Unwary. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and learned something. Get something out of this. Can uh, I hope it can help you in your uh, bee breeding uh, in your Minecraft. And uh, hope you have a good day.
Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.